three. I'm in Smuggler's Den campground. This is the uh, the cabin. It's a deluxe cabin. It's fucking awesome. It's got a kitchen, bathroom, you know, a full kitchen, bathroom, you know, everything you need. Plus, you get your fire pit, your grill if you need it, mountain view. Astonishing, right in the center of uh, Acadia National Park, and uh, it's what it's about. It must be about eight o'clock now. Yeah, 7:41 in the morning, and we're gonna head out and uh, probably do some photography today. So uh, when they get. The reason why I call Max Poops is because that's what he does. He poops. He poops everywhere. He is a poop machine. Hey, come here. There's people have a dog next door. A, uh, a German Shepherd. I took him out last night and he freaking went ballistic. Usually Max is pretty cool with dogs. Oh. Yeah. So this is where we're staying. You can see the bathroom bike right there. It's pretty nice. It's got a nice shower. Uh, full kitchen, microwave, everything you'd need. You know, we got uh, bunk beds, even though nobody's going to be sleeping up top, but mom's going to be sleeping over there. I'm going to be sleeping here. Oh, Max off his leash here. Oh, poop. Come here. Come here. It's not a real fireplace, it's a gas, uh, one of them imitation fake gas fed fireplaces, but it's pretty cool. But yeah, they give you everything you need to survive here. The shower, immaculate, sun, you know, it's the toilet. So, at the side of the park, we're like, we're like right in, we're on the south side of Arcadia National Park, kind of, where we're staying and stuff. So I'm going to go down south here to uh, the Bass Harbor Lighthouse and uh, take some pictures. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty awesome spot. And... Uh, not too far away from where we're staying so uh, a couple minutes uh, I should be down near there and uh, I'll give you a shout shot uh, I'll take some video I'll take some pictures uh, with the a6000 and uh, walk Max around a little bit even though he already pooped all over the campground I, I had to clean it up. The dog can't poop in one damn spot. He's got to poop in like fucking nine different spots. But anyways, uh, turn the camera back on when we get down there. So this is a uh, Bass Harbor Lighthouse. Or light station. Eighteen fifty-eight. <laughs> they bought it for eighty dollars. Check that out. Pretty nice.
Come here. Hey, come here. <laughs> Next, stop. Get over here. Ah, oh, nice. Mariners be aware. I'll check that out, see if we can get down. See the other side and take a picture like that. I know there's a trail that goes around the other side. Oh. Come on, let's go. Bass Harbor. I think we should be able to go down. I don't know rocks from here. I'm not sure. <laughs> Easy. Easy. That's soft. I can feel the age. No, no, come on.
Come here. Mm. Come on, come down here. Yeah, he's got the easy, he's got it easy. <laughs> Come here. Come on. Come on. Go ahead. I know, that's what I'm thinking too. Go way over, the, over to that one. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. They climbed down over the rocks over here. Probably over on the other side of those. Went the, the one with the snow that you're talking about up there? I know, that's what I said too. I was like, oh, I gotta get over there. I don't think so. I think I'm at my head. Yeah. Uh, without the dog. I have nobody to watch the dog with me right now, so <clears throat> uh, when my mom gets here tomorrow, I'll have her, or actually later on today. I'll come back. All right, so we're leaving. We are leaving, uh, what's it called, uh, Bass Harbor Lighthouse, and I think what I'm going to do is go to Thunder Hole. Thunder Hole is probably uh, one of the biggest main attractions at this uh, park. Very famous, you can look it up. Uh, uh, this little cove waves come in and splash and uh, if you get down too close they have like railings and everything now um, but if you get down too close you can really uh, get splashed um, the waves crash right into this basically this coat hole in the uh, in the rocks but um, yeah I think in just a just a pointer like I said I got this map definitely buy one of these maps buy the waterproof one because Acadia is very confusing um, they have a loop road that goes around the park in some spots it's one way and uh, you can end up getting caught up if you don't have the right map and if you're not paying attention you can just end up getting caught up and driving around in circles for uh, for hours it happened to uh, my mother and father when they came up here they thought they were knew, knew what they were doing but um and the way the the harbors are named like we're at we're at Bass Harbor but there's also another harbor down here it's called Northeast Harbor but it's actually at the south of the island um very very confusing so uh, just do yourself a favor, buy one of these maps. They're about $9 at the visitor centers. Um, it's waterproof. Make sure you get the waterproof one. It's got all the hiking trails uh, marked on it. Um, it's got pretty much everything in detail, topographics. Uh, it's really worth buying if you get up here and you... Um, if you do some hiking and, and, and you really want to see the island or, or the park in the right way, um, definitely buy a map. So I guess I'm going to go off to, off to uh, Thunder Hole, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'll go to the, um, maybe I'll go to Thunder Hole and Otter Cliffs. There's another place called Otter Cliffs that's pretty uh, cool. The cliffs that are right there on the water. Uh, some people actually rappel down them. Sometimes you'll see climbers and stuff with all the harnesses and gear. Um, last last year when I was up here, that's what I saw. I saw a couple of climbers and stuff. I didn't have the A6000 at the time, though. Now I got the A6000. Oh, shoot. 
and I should uh, I should take some pictures. So, all right, I'll start the camera back up uh, again. <laughs>